Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We've just moved our way through Kadash Tiger. Of course, we are playing through the uh, the Witch Hunt DLC. We just got the Lanterns of Ogluglu. And now that we have the Lanterns of Ogluglu, we can go to the ruins to try and find the Shards of the Mirror. should be around here. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. That's nice. If you hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. Your hound seems particularly interested in this landmark. Landmark corpse. All right, all right. Do I have like a dig option or something? I've got dread howl, which sounds pretty awesome. Um, I mean, it's not—it's not an impossible idea. The land we have landmark corpses. Well, I can only think of one that we have in reality, but. Um, Old Green Boots is a landmark corpse. Green Boots. It's Green Boots or Green Shoes, I can't quite remember. Um, is someone who died whilst climbing Everest. And they just couldn't get the corpse down. And uh, because of like the awkward... Oh god. Because of like the awkward positioning. Um, and he had Green Boots. <laughs> Infected Elf. You don't look like an elf. Look, they've, they've got helmets on to hide their elfish ears, because I suspect they aren't elves. Um, but Green Boots is something like, I don't know, it's like halfway up Everest at a certain point, or like from one of the base camps to the next, so people use him as a uh, marker. I believe there was an effort to get him down. They should, because, you know, the family probably want him down. It's all well and good that like he's part of the, the furniture, as it were, but he's still a human being, you know? Can do. One day I'll eat you. Bam. Oh yeah, Ariane. Kicking ass and taking These names. People were very sick before they died. Mirabellus, Lethalen. You don't think it's contagious, do you? Ariane sounds remarkably similar to a friend of mine. Just the way she said that was very suspicious. Ariane might be from Ohio. <laughs> I have to assume Marianne's from Ohio. Ow. Is that mage doing an absolute... The mage just shut the door behind us. Ariane is having none of it. She's going in. Casaris, right, right. you remember you're meant to be the tank, right, buddy? That, that may just proper well, done a runner <laughs> all the way. Okay, um, we'll come chatting a bit, mage. I guess I'm gonna explore. Ah, oh, no, I'm stuck in combat. Come here, then, big old numpty. Okay, I will explore. So very exciting, you folks have officially seen episode 1 of Dragon Age Origins, it went up last night, well, six hours ago for me, I suppose. I um, hope people enjoy the playthrough. I'm a little apprehensive because I know the first four to five hours are quite disastrous, I know it doesn't go particularly well. This is not an easy game when you first pick it up, you know, when you're kind of learning everything for the first time. And I remember... There's one particular bit I have in mind where things went especially badly, and it was the, um... Just after the we did the Darkspawn Grey Warden kind of bit for the first time, we were in that little town, and there was all the bandits and spiders outside, right? It's the first time we kind of, like... Oh. I wonder if I can get around the other way. Uh, it's the first time we kind of opened things up for the first time, and I remember dying in that area about five times and getting really... Why have they appeared behind me? That's really interesting. I remember getting very frustrated. It turns out we just needed... We needed a win, for a start. A win made a big difference. Fully enough, less now. You know, we don't have a healer right now. Now I guess we do. But he doesn't really heal. <laughs> uh, win became... I think healing became less important over time. I think you need a res. I think that's more important than healing. You're not going to let me through here, are you? Well, you are. Interesting. Better than later. Okay. Where's that mage? Is he luring me in? I think so. Come here, you. The all infected right, key right. master. Oh, that's it. Yeah, okay. I'll just lie. Go on, Ariane. Go on. Get in there, my son. Smashed him. 
Rogues hit like a truck, man. They hit like a truck. Oh, I don't think I'm playing Blood Mage in Dragon Age 2. Because they suck, apparently. <laughs> they don't seem very fun. I was looking into the abilities. Because I just I want to know... You know, what's going to be fun to play. And they've got, like, one damage spell in the entire game. It sounds rubbish. <laughs> apparently they're very tanky, but they don't have any damage spells. It sounds really boring. Um, I still think we're going to play a mage. Because... Um, without giving the game away too much on Dragon Age 2, from what I remember, Dragon Age 2 is a lot, it's about mages, largely, and mages are a feared and hated people in Dragon Age 2. Can I get you a ladder so you can um, get off my back? So I think that'd be fun narratively to play. And I think I know what I'm playing in Inquisition as well, but I'm not going to worry about that too much quite yet. <laughs> Kill them all. Come here, you. Come on. Come on. By the time you folks see this video, I may well have completed Dragon Age 2. Who knows? Actually, I want to complain about Elden Ring as well. <laughs> so I'm currently recording the final episode of the Elden Ring DLC. I'm on the final boss. Oh, I guess you've seen it by now. I'm on Radon. And on my second attempt, I got into like 5%, if not less health. I had him. He was dead. On my second ever attempt. And then I've done about 20 attempts since then. <laughs> and they've all been a disaster. It's gone downhill so quickly. It's wild. I thought I set Ariane to be a uh, archer. Am I crazy? I guess I am crazy. Oh, she's a warrior, isn't she? Shut up with me. Um, I just got like a really good bow, but I don't really have anyone who could use it. The Sorrows of Arlothan. Sounds great. Do I have a bow? Is it better than my bow? Uh, It's got less range. A lot of damage, though. Same crit chance. More armor. Yeah, that's great. Oh, look at it. It's a fiery bow. And is this any good for you, Finn? Do you want this? Vera. Eight spell power, 20% spirit. No, we want cold damage over spirit damage, I think. I've kind of neglected spirit. Mages are tricky. They have so many abilities. So many abilities. That I find... You couldn't possibly use them all if you were playing a mage, if you're not playing the mage yourself. I'm sure they're lots of fun if you're playing them, but I feel they've got too many abilities for like your NPCs, you know. Oh, hello. Now's better than later. I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent and broken, mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of Arlath, and we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. I guess I'm ready. Okay. So, yeah, the idea is... Well, so what, so what do we know so far? Let's kind of recap here. Morgan stole a book, right? About the Illuvian. Which we find out is a scrying mirror. Which lets you look through from side to side, essentially. It's like a long-range vision thing. So... For our perspective, the idea is that we can use this to find one and then look through until we find Morrigan, I suppose. And obviously it's just a big part of elven history and mage history and stuff like that. Let's have a look. Let's hope this works. You got it, Finn. Whenever a game says, we can do this whenever you're ready, it inevitably means things are going to try to murder you. <laughs> Protect the mage! Protect the mage! Loot the corpse! It's nice of them when they die to leave their gear in little bags for me to pick up. It's very, um, very thoughtful. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, am I bleeding? Oh, look, a rip in my robe. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. What's going on with the bee here? Why is that bee so funky? <laughs> Did it work? I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. But the bees are always like this. What's going on? <laughs> Have I just somehow not noticed in the entire game that the bees are funky? Why is the bee the only... Every other letter has a little... A little va va voom to it, but the bees are wild. I've been to the Dragonbone Wastes. I saw no mirror. It might be hidden. 
or only appear to those who know its location. Let's go. Shall we? We shall. Through the looking, we are through. We are through the looking glass, people. This again. Your name is Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No, they adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. My puppy. Okay. Dragonbone Waste, an ancient graveyard where dragons came to die. Where an ancient alluvian is hidden. Don't, don, that's very dramatic. We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons. And mirrors. <laughs> I hope there isn't a dragon. We, we kind of handled the dragons pretty well in Awakening. What's going on here? No, cultists, of course. But I feel like this group would struggle quite a lot against the dragon. I don't think we could handle a dragon. Like a full, a big boy dragon, I think it would be a struggle. I've never met a dragon worshipper before. Not much for small talk, are they? No. Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe God. fire! <laughs> Some people are usually impressed. <laughs> I mean, look, if dragons existed, people would worship dragons. That's just the way it is. People would absolutely worship dragons if they were real. Hell, there are people who out there who think dragons are real. There are people out there who think giants are real. People out there who think the dinosaurs were never real, but think these things are still out there and are being hidden by the government somehow. There's people out there who think the Megalodon is still alive. People are really stupid. And like people like to think that people are getting stupider. People are not getting stupider. We just have more access to the stupid people. Social media has made it so easy for everyone to share the most ridiculous opinions they have, you know? I'm not calling everyone stupid. I just think if you believe that dragons are real, you might be a little silly. That's all. Just a little bit silly. Just, just from a logical standpoint, where would they be? Where would Megalodon be? See, this is the thing. People, the, the, you see people talking about Megalodon being real. I'm going to complain about this now because it really annoys me. People complain, and it's always people who obviously don't know what they're talking about. It's people who don't know the first thing about I'll get paleontology, up. biology, zoology, whatever you want to call it. But the excuse is always, well, you know, we haven't explored so much of the ocean. Anything could be hiding out there. Which is, is true to an extent, and there are, inevitably, oh, <laughs> a ton of really cool undiscovered deep sea species out there in the oceans, right? That is very much the case. And, and we keep finding new ones, and it's all very cool beans. However, <laughs> we... <laughs> first of all, Megalodon is not... <laughs> I mean, okay, yes things like giant squids and stuff keep getting discovered later and later. But you've got to think about the amount of food a megalodon consumes, the biological footprint that a creature like a megalodon has. You would see it for miles and miles and miles. You really would. We would have fossils that are newer. We would have corpses washing up. We would have whales with gigantic bite marks in them. We'd have any shred of physical evidence rather than, well, you never know. <laughs> You never know. <clears throat> and I personally do not find, well, you never know to be sufficient evidence. Two-handed, you're rubbish. I guess you could give it to her, but it seems a bit pointless. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like with Bigfoot. I love Bigfoot, right? <laughs> that might sound, oh, it's going to be a dragon. Look at it. Of course it's going to be a dragon. <laughs> what did I just say about dragons? What is that? Uh, of our Terrell? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? That's well, not a dragon. It's cool. A Vartarol. Vartarol. Sweet. Oh, look at it. Stunned already. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, mark a death. I'll get on it. And let's get stabbing it in the back. Wait, where's my wolf? Yeah. 
Is he? Is this? What? How interesting. I saw it in the distance, but I thought it was like a weird spindly skeletal dragon. Whoa, they I haven't hit this thing, by the way. <laughs> I think I punched it once. My, my group has been wrecking it. Good job, guys. There's no wolf. <laughs> it takes so long to summon. You know what? I'm not even needed. I swear to God, I'm not actually needed. I can just run away. I'll be fine. You're gonna kill the dragons. Helping. Go on, man. Guess I could assist. It's not, I mean, it's not. It's not super strong. <clears throat> it's cool though. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, like the monster from Cloverfield. In some ways. Curious about this one. Let's read about the Vartaril. According to Ariane, the elven gods created Vartarils to guard the elves and the most treasured artifacts. They are so rare that even the dailies believe they are only legends. The one you encountered was especially vicious, attacking even Ariane, or one of the people it's created to protect. Why is anyone's guess? And that is 33 out of 33 creatures. There are no more creatures out there. It also doesn't have any loot, the cheeky little so and so. Oh, the nest. Oh, that's a promising place to go when you've been surrounded by dragons. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Let's go check out the nest. Oh, God. Oh, I wish it was a dragon nest. This doesn't look like a dragon nest. This looks like a darkspawn nest. Maybe it's like a dragony darkspawn. What the heck is this? Yo. Can I zoom in all the way? No, it's a shame. I'd like to go first person for the purpose of screenshots. Hey, Morgan! How's it hanging, girl? The Illuvian. And it's glowing. We should. I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. <laughs> no further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. Hey, Morgan. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. The Luvians are portals? To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the Fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was... difficult. I remained to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? I love you. We were friends once, Morrigan. So you chase me all this way to offer help? I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. Uh, we helped each other even so. Yes, I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. Why did you betray me? Did she betray us? I don't feel like she betrayed us. What's your plan? My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say, even to you. What is to come? He is safe and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. That's not good enough. Then what is your concern? That the child will claim Ferelden's throne? I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. That's a great line. I'm a big fan of that line. I'm not going to ask why she betrayed me, because I don't feel like she did. Then allow me to provide you a warning. 
Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. Flemeth is dead? Question mark. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality, and yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage, no abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end, a herald for what is to come. What's going to happen? Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. Sometimes change is what sets them free. Couldn't just give me a straight answer. <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> what do you want, Morrigan? What I want is... is unimportant now. Aww. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. You don't have to do this alone, Morrigan. I wish it were not so. But I do. There is one last thing I must tell you. If you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there. And something you will find of great interest. Goodbye. My friend. Aww. She was a little hesitant there at the end, I think. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, but, <coughs> but what was the interesting thing we found? Can I load here? Where does this put me? What? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let the credits play and we'll talk about it. Um Okay, well that seems to be the end of Witch Hunt. Yeah, that sucked as well. <laughs> Awakening was so good. They set the bar so high. And then both these DLCs kind of rubbish. Now, it, it must be said, whereas Golems of Angarak has no plot relevance going forward, I'm sure. Because how would it? We've destroyed everything in there, right? So what What could possibly be relevant in Golems? Unless, I mean, maybe the characters carry on or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um... At least Witch Hunt has some plot relevance. A, we know Flemeth is still alive in some form. She's not human. She's not a dragon. She's not an abomination. We don't know what Flemeth is, but she's still out there somewhere. And she has something terrible planned, seemingly. Um, Morrigan is trying to prepare, I think, for whatever Flemeth is planning or doing. And maybe her child ties into that. She keeps call, talking about the kid's destiny. So it's like, I think Flemeth has a plan that Morgan is becoming aware of. And Morgan's way to stop Flemeth's plan... This is all me without really remembering Dragon Age 2 that well at all. Plot-wise, all I remember from Dragon Age 2 is fancying Isabella. <laughs> like basically nothing else whatsoever. I fancied Isabella. People didn't like mages. Yeah, that's about all I've got. So I don't know if this plays into Dragon Age 2 or Inquisition, because I really haven't played Inquisition at all. Um, but Morgan's raising the kid to counteract Flemeth somehow, maybe? It's how I'm interpreting what's going on here. Um, 
it's funny because Awakening was pretty easy. And they corrected for that quite hard in Golems of Amgarak, clearly by making Golems of Amgarak ridiculously difficult. And then people clearly complained about Golems of Amgarak because this was even easier than Awakening. This was that final boss was, was was nothing at all. It really wasn't. May as well not existed. It was too easy. Um, I like the party members. I thought Finn and Ariane were both decent party members. It was good to see Morrigan again. It's just a bit short. I don't know. I expected... I think that was shorter than Amgarak. Although, again, that's it. it's mainly because they died a lot in Amgarak than anything else. Um, yeah, this wasn't a great DLC. Which is a bit of a shame that this one and Golems were both pretty bad. But Awakening was great, so we can, <laughs> we can just keep that in our minds. That we liked Awakening. And uh, things are set up for the future. For Dragon Age 2. Which I think I'm gonna go and play right now. <laughs> I'm kind of like this has not scratched my Dragon Age itch. I've only played for 26 minutes. I need I need more Dragon Age. I'm excited to get the sequel going. Oh, I should go beat Elden Ring though. Let's just see if anything happens here. Nope, not at all. Okay, so okay. <laughs> I don't know. It was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> well, that was it. That was Witch Hunt. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we'll be back. Later today or tomorrow, I don't know what day it is. I don't know where. Time is fake. Um, you know, I don't know when. But at some point very soon, Dragon Age 2 will be beginning. So I hope I'll see you all there. I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. And hope you're willing to go on another adventure with me very soon. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.